on adventurers, welcome to Rosewood in Owings Mills, Maryland. There's actually a movie about this place. If you have not checked it out, definitely make sure you watch the movie called The Institute. Uh, this place has a very, very dark past. I knew this place had existed for quite a while, but I've never been out here before. And after I researched it, I had heard that some of the buildings had been torn down, which really made me feel sad because I felt like the residents of Rosewood would want to tell their story. So we thought we would just come sit out here and we're going to go ahead and do a spirit box session. Hopefully somebody will communicate with us. It was the craziest thing, you guys. We're sitting here talking about the past of this place and along comes a lone doe by herself just walking very gracefully through the field and you guys are going to see that. I thought that was pretty interesting. So, you know, we feel like definitely that was someone that was trying to make communication with us. So we had the idea of doing a, a quick spirit box session. Hopefully nobody will come run us off the property. We really would like to seek permission from the owners to come out and do a, a proper investigation inside of some of the buildings. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, we're gonna get right into the spirit box session. Check it out guys, this is actually Rosewood Hospital. I don't know if you saw the movie, but this place has a very dark past. It has a very interesting story behind it. What used to happen, a lot of affluent uh, women were actually checked into Rosewood Hospital and it sounded like a lot of them actually were sold into slavery basically as a maid uh it's pretty crazy never heard anything like that before until i saw that movie there's a deer running across the field there is a deer you guys look at this this is the coolest it's just one what the heck is going on here it's called the institute okay hold on look at this are you seeing this yeah. Is that a baby? Oh, there she goes. That was amazing. Okay, now my camera's blowing out. That was weird. Okay. So, Lisa has a theory, and I kind of... I'm inclined to believe the same thing. We're thinking maybe that deer that just ran through here was one of the residents of Rosewood that just was happy that we're telling their story. Um, it's extremely windy. We just had a tornado come through about 10 miles away where we live. So anyway, the name of the movie was The Institute. If you have not seen that movie, please go check it out. It's pretty unbelievable and so, so heartbreaking. Uh, I'm going to reach out to the people that own this place and see if maybe we can get permission to go inside and take a look in some of the buildings and possibly do a paranormal investigation. You guys know we would do them justice and um, our friend Patty's going to be up here next month. So we're going to see if maybe we can work that out. Hey guys. So we just happened to take a trip back here to the Rosewood area to see if we could see anything because we thought the buildings... Actually, we heard the buildings were demolished because they're building a college on the property, but lo and behold, there are still buildings here, so it's pretty cool. So imagine our surprise that this place is still in existence here. You don't have your spirit box, will you do? Yeah. You know what? Let's do a spirit box session. There are some very old houses here. We're thinking that maybe some of the doctors and nurses that were employed with Rosewood possibly uh, occupied these houses. This place is something else. I mean, it's quite the quite the compound, but I have to say I'm really surprised that there's no fencing um, to keep the residents in, unless there used to be. There may have been at some point. So I also just wanted to say too, guys, it's crazy, and uh, pardon the term, but most of the residents here actually check themselves in. So I just want that to be known. We're going to go ahead and start uh, without any further ado. We're going to start with our spirit box session and um, let's do it. Okay, so we're going to see if we can contact any uh, residents that were at Rosewood. You guys, anybody want to come through and say hello to us? That would be great. Oh, I heard something. There you go. Just sit it right here so I can hear what they're saying. I'm Jen and this is Lisa.
Hi. Um, will the person who was the deer just now come through and say hello? Hello? What's your name? We are so sorry for the terrible things that you all have endured here. We watched a movie about this uh, facility, which told there was a lot of neglect. You want to say hello? Did you stay? Did you live here? Is there any of the doctors you want to say hello? Any of the nurses want to say hello? Ooh. Any of the patients want to say hello? I bet a lot of the patients want to say hello. If you were a patient here, can you say your name? Were you able to leave Rosewood? We were. Were you sold into slavery? If you, were, if you lived at Rosewood and you were sold into slavery, please come through and tell us your story. I know it takes a lot of energy to communicate through the spirit box. We'll make a sentence out of it. Just come through and give us a couple of words that we can put together. Did you miss your family? Did you want to leave here? Were you given a lot of medication here? Actually, they were being poisoned. Poison. Were you being poisoned here? I want you to come through and tell us if you were poisoned here as a patient. Has anybody given electric shock treatment? I want to come through and say yes or no. I know they did do a lot of that. They also did something called pain therapy where they would just hurt you on purpose mm -hmm. to try to break you as a person. Do you want us to come back into the building so that you can talk to us clearly? Can you say your name? How long were you here? Forever. Did you come here when you were young? Did you come here on your own accord? Voluntarily.
Did you come here on your own? Did you voluntarily come to this place? I like something. I liked it. Did, Did you, you like work it? here? I think. Kind of like. Maybe. You know, all kind of responses to that. <laughs> to all the people that worked here that we're talking to right now, I want to know, at the time, did you think you were doing the right thing? I did or something. Did you think you were helping people? Did everyone that worked here know what was going on, that people were being uh, poisoned and sold into slavery? Yeah. Wow. Something. Did you hear that? I did hear that. That's so tragic and so sad. How could you live with yourselves? Did the doctors threaten you if you told the truth? Yeah. You, were you threatened to lose your job if you told the or truth? Or worse. I mean, were you threatened that you would be locked down yourself if you didn't comply? Was there a lot of corruption here? Were there a lot of people here that should not have been here? I heard a couple yeses. And it sounded like this actually went beyond the hospital. This was from the government. Like the state government was completely corrupt. And, you know, there were a lot of shady deals going on behind the scenes. So... Were you, were you glad that it closed? Are you a doctor? Listen back. Wow. So we're getting a lot of great stuff, guys. Um, I'm kind of a, a bit blown away right now. I'm so sad. Like my heart is really hurting for the people that were locked down in this place. It really is. Like I have tears in my eyes right now. What a helpless feeling. And it didn't look like the facility was very comfortable. Like the actual rooms they were sleeping in. It was just, I mean. Well, the interesting thing is they kind of sold it as a resort of sorts. Um, I was saying something. You're talking, it, it wasn't very comfortable to stay here, right? Initially it was. Initially, your room looked like a resort. But when I said it wasn't, they were talking to you about, um, you know, yeah, probably in the, the big building, and then probably once you got to your room, it was a whole different story. Yep. There was a whole process where they would break you so that you couldn't make your own decisions anymore, and that was when they sold you into slavery. Yep. All, you know, about the almighty dollar. I also heard that a lot of people that, when they did get out... They had tuberculosis, and, and they, died. they didn't live much longer after they left. As a matter of fact, I think a lot of the staff also died from tuberculosis because it was also a sanatorium where they treated TB patients. Said something. Did, did you, you say sanatorium? Did you say sanatorium? Did any of you have tuberculosis? I did. Wow. Wow, that's a terrible way to die. I'm so sorry that you had to go that way. Do you guys want us to come back so that people can hear your story?
basement. I heard basement. What happened in the basement? Did you, were you in the basement? We were too. We were too. Is that what they said? <laughs> Who was in the basement? building you stayed in that we're looking at here? Do they have a crematorium here? Yeah, we're seeing a smokestack here. What is this? What's the deal with the smokestack? Wow. Is there anything else that you want to say to us? You can't tell what it said. Alright guys, we're, we're, thank you for talking with us today. We're going to come back soon. We're going to close the session out. Thank you. and um. We wish you um, the best. Do not follow us home. I'm pretty sure it just said get out of here. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us today. We appreciate you hanging out. Please drop us a comment um, if you want us to come back. And we'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure.